آمین یا رب العالمین نحمده و نسلی و نسلی و علی رسوله الكریم اما بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ورفعنا لك ذکرك صدق اللہ مولان العظیم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الامين المكين الكريم ونحن على ذلك لمن الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين اوف يا اعظم ضمن بسرون سما مدد قبل ايدي مدد كا غاي ما مدد قادريم نعراي يا اوف يا اعظم بزنم دمز شیخ احمد رضا خان قدب عالم بیزنم سیدی یا مرشدی شاہ مصطفیٰ خان زندہ باد مسلک سرکار عالی عالی حضرت زندہ باد یا الہی مسلک احمد رضا خان زندہ باد حفظ ناموس رسالت کا جو ذمہ دار ہے سیدی یا مرشدی شاہ مصطفیٰ خان زندہ باد حامل فیض رضا مصطفیٰ امداد کن صلی اللہ علیہ نبی الامی و آلہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم صلاة و سلام علیکہ یا سیدی یا سندی یا حبیبی یا طبیبی یا رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم و علی آلکہ و صحابکہ یا رحمت للعالمین All praises due to Almighty Allah The Lord and Salam is one of the most perfect exalted and glorified of Allah's creation Sayyidina Mawlana Muhammad صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم Peace, blessings and salutations upon the Anbiya Ikram, Ahl Bayt Adhar, Sahaba Ikram, Khulafa Rashidin, Tabayin, Tabay Tabayin, Aymah Aymah Mujtahideen, Awliya Kamilin, and all those who will follow their path until the last day. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through His infinite mercy and through the wasilah of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for affording us the opportunity to congregate for Salatul Jum'ah and to prostrate in His most exalted court. Before continuing, let us all direct our hearts and our minds towards the holy and sanctified court of the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and in doing so, let us collectively recite the Rudi Paat Allahumma salli ala sallam ala muhammadin aafiyatil abdani wa shifahiyya wa tibbi al-kulubi wa dawaiha wa nuruli wa shkhani wa uliyaiha wa alihi wa sahbihi wa barik salim daima na abadah Dahan me zubaan tumhaare liye Badan me hijam tumhaare liye دہن میں زبان تمہارے لیے بدن میں ہجام تمہارے لیے ہم آئے یہاں تمہارے لیے اٹھے بھی وہاں تمہارے لیے دہن میں زبان تمہارے لیے in our mouths we have been blessed with the tongue for you دہن میں زبان تمہارے لیے in our mouths we have been blessed with the tongue For you, for who? Ya Rasulullah. For you, Ya Rasulullah. So much now. Tumhare liye. Dahan me zuban. Tumhare liye. In our mouths, we have been given a tongue for you, Ya Rasulullah. So much now. Dahan me zuban. Tumhare liye. Or badan me hijam. Tumhare liye. And in our bodies, we have been blessed with the soul for you, Ya Rasulullah. So much now. Dahan me zuban. تمہارے لیے بدن میں ہے جان تمہارے لیے ہم آئے یہاں تمہارے لیے we have come here for you where is this here I will tell you just now ہم آئے یہاں تمہارے لیے we have come here for you یا رسول اللہ because of you اٹھے بھی وہاں تمہارے لیے and we will be risen there as well یا رسول اللہ for you Everything is for Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam By the hukum of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Dahan me zubaan tumhari liye This tongue that we have in our mouth Is not to swear This tongue Is not to insult This tongue Is not to disrespect your mother and father This tongue is not to speak against haq this tongue is not to use it as you please. This tongue is for zikrullah. 
This tongue is for zikr and Mustafa. This tongue is by which you say Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. This tongue is for the pleasure of Allah and His beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Or badan mein hijab tumhari di hai. And this body is what without a soul? What is the body without a soul? Jism jism mein jaan na ho, us jism ka kya fayda? That body which does not have a soul, what can it do? I'm talking about ordinary bodies. The body that does not have a soul, even for a moment, I'm not talking about the Ambiya, Alayhi Musallat Islam, for when their souls leave, it is only to fulfill the promise of Allah and it returns immediately. My Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says that every time somebody sends Durood upon me, Salam upon me, my Rabb returns my Ruh to me. What does it mean? It doesn't mean that my soul is not with me. It means my soul, my attention is in the court of Allah. And when somebody says durood upon me, then while I am not moving my attention from the court of Allah, my attention is on the person who says durood as well. Different discussion, long discussion, we can discuss it some other time. But for you to understand, don't make comparisons. Don't make comparisons. When today, because today this is what the Badmas have do, and the deviants do. That Nabi is only bigger than us, so he is like the big brother Mazallah. Look what they wrote in their books. That the Nabi sometimes, that the Ummati sometimes can supersede the Nabis in Amal. If they live longer than the Nabis, then they can make more deeds than the Nabi. Allahu Akbar. All the deeds of the Sahaba put together not equal to the one deed of Abu Bakr. All the deeds of the Sahaba together. Ridwanullah ta'ala li majma'in not equal to one deed of Siddiq Akbar radiallahu ta'ala an and all the ummah put together no matter how they strive they all deeds together will not be equivalent to the dust under the feet of Siddiq Akbar they want to put bring a comparison ya Allah there is no room for comparison there is no room for comparison you want to compare today people want to say that yes, they are the Nabis, but there is no but. There is no but. That is the Nabi, you are the Ummati. He is the king, you are the slave. Khadam. Lekin Raza ne khatm e sukhan is pe kar diya. Lekin Raza ne khatm e sukhan is pe kar diya. Khalik ka banda khalk ka aka kahu tujhe. Sarwar kahu ke maliko maula kahu tujhe. What should I call you ya Rasulullah? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ya Rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam what should I call you? Sarwar kahu. Should I call you the king? The emperor? Ya maliko maula kahu tujhe. Or should I call you my master and my owner? Sarwar kahu. Ke maliko maula kahu tujhe. Baghe khalil ka gulay zaiba kahu tujhe. Or should I call you the blooming beautiful rose from the garden of Khalil? Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. Because you are from his descendants, what should I call you? Sarwar kahu. Ke maliko maula kahu tujhe. Baghe Khalil ka gulay zeba kahu tujhe gulay zeba Baghe Khalil ka gulay zeba Subhanallah Subhanallah Other discussion Magar baat a gai to samjha deta hon Subhanallah Baghe Khalil ka gulay zeba You know what zeb That which beautifies That which adorns So the garden of Khalil The garden is Khalil's but the rose that gave the beauty to that garden is Muhammad Rasulullah. Baghe Khalil ka. Gule Zeba kahu tujhe. What should I tell you, Ya Rasulullah? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya Habib Allah. Ya Nabi Allah. Allah Hadrat keh rahe. That is why Allah Hadrat is Allah Hadrat. That is why Allah Hadrat is Allah Hadrat. Zuban Allah Hadrat ki thi. Kalam Hassan bin Sabit. Zuban was of Allah Hadrat. But the that the tajalli was of the kalam of Hazrat Hassan bin Sabit radiallahu ta'ala eh? if you want to listen to the kalam of Imam Jalaluddin Rumi Hazrat Abdurrahman Jami 
حضرت امام بوسیری رضی اللہ رضوان اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ مجمعین in one کلام you will hear it in the کلام of Allah حضرت عظیم البرکت رضی اللہ تعالیٰ سرور کہوں کہ مالک و مولا کہوں تجھے باغ خلیل کا گل زیبات کہوں تجھے یا رسول اللہ what must I say who are you and in the entire کلام Allah حضرت is praising کہوں تجھے کہوں تجھے کہوں تجھے تیرے تو وصف عیب تناہی سے ہے بری تیرے تو وصف عیب تناہی سے ہے بری حیران ہوں میرے شاہ میں کیا کیا کہوں تجھے یا رسول اللہ your praises are such تیرے تو وصف عیب تناہی سے ہے بری that your praises are such that leave alone fault the thought of a fault can't be there you know why why we can't even think of a weakness in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وہ کمال حسن حضور ہے وہ کمال حسن حضور ہے کہ گمان نقص نقص do you know what's a نقص weakness وہ کمال حسن حضور ہے کہ گمان نقص جہاں نہیں رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم's beauty is that کمال and that splendor that you cannot even think leave alone looking for a fault you cannot even make گمان you cannot even imagine کہ گمان نقص جہاں نہیں یہی پھول خار سے دور ہے this is that rose that is free from thorns this is the only rose in the world that is free from thorns یہ وہ شمع ہے کہ دعا نہیں this is that flame in which there is no smoke یعنی if you look at رسول اللہ پاک صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم is only حسن it's only حسن only حسن want to compare want to compare Allah is saying سرور کہو کہ مالک و مولا کہو تجھے باغ خلیل کا گل زیبا کہو تجھے یا رسول اللہ what must I call you he says لیکن رضا نے ختم سخن اس پہ کر دیا سخن پوٹری or his words or his discussion or his presentation لیکن رضا نے ختم سخن اس پہ کر دیا رضا ended his poetic praises at this کہ خالق کا بندہ what can I call you خالق کا بندہ the most chosen servant of Allah when we say بندہ for us the lowest when we say بندہ for us the lowest and when we say بندہ for رسول اپاق the most exalted لیکن رضا نے ختم سخن اس پہ کر دیا خالق کا بندہ the most exalted and the most chosen servant of the creator خلق کا آقا کہوں تجھے I've come to this conclusion that you are the most exalted servant of Allah and the entire universe are your servants the entire universe are your servants because if they want to become the servants of Allah if the servants want to become the servants of Allah تو عبداللہ بننے سے پہلے عبد المصطفیٰ بننا ہوگا they will have to become عبد المصطفیٰ they will have to first become the slaves of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam you want to talk about Nabi Staqat yeh maulud ka mahina hai it is the month of the birth of the Nabi Lab and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam day and night we should make tarif of our Nabi day and night people today they say but why these people read salami after Jumah zaman is the same jagra for years going on 100 years gone why they read salami after Jumah why after somebody when somebody die you want to make fatiha you want to make salam why you want to read the Sharif? you made fatiha you do Sharif. somebody is getting married do Sharif salam somebody died do Sharif salam why are you people doing this with that ye to bote naam hai humare madrasa ke ek bachcha ko puch lo wo jawab de dega ask the little children of our KG kindergarten KG ke bachche to hai what is the answer? They'll tell you that my Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the closest to me on the day of Qayyamat. <laughs> say subhanallah. <laughs> Not because what I am saying, what my Nabi is saying. <laughs> what did my Nabi say? <laughs> the closest to me on the day of Qayyamat will be that person that sends durood upon me most. Ham durood badhane ki koshish kar rahe taake Mustafa se kareeb raho. Aur tum dur karne ki koshish karte is liye tum dur raho ge. You will be far, we will be near. Because the Nabi said whoever sends durood upon me more will be closer to me. You will be closer to me. 
This is why we're sending Durud the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's month of Mawlun. Our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam talking about comparing. Allahu Akbar. You want to talk about comparisons? Let's leave the discussion about the Ambiya for a while. Let's leave the discussion about the Ambiya and their target for a while. Let's go to the Ghulams of 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 the Ambiya Ikram. Alayhi salatu wa taslam. Let's go into... Let's not go to India because then all this you people imported from India. By salami you imported from India. So the malaika came from India. إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ونبينا مولانا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا مولانا محمد وصحبه وبارك وسلم صلوا عليه. ها؟ Where the Ambiya? Where did the Malaika come from? ها؟ From the heights of the heaven. What do they do? Seventy thousand angels in the morning. Seventy thousand angels in the evening. كيا كرتي؟ they form an umbrella over the Rawdha Anwar of Rasul Ipaq sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Why do you put umbrella? To shade. But these angels don't put to shade. They put to attain. They come there to take the hissa of nur from the court of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because otherwise everything they say, you, this also when you people brought from India, from Ajmer Sharif. From Bareilly Sharif, from Kyojocha Sharif, from Maharara Sharif. Where you, Garim Sharif, where your people brought this from? So let's not go to India for now. For now, let's go to Morocco. Let's go to Morocco. Let's go to Marrakesh and go a little further. Let's go to Fas in Morocco. Let's go to the court of the personality who is known as Hazrat Sayyidina Imam. Al Jazuli Radiyan Suleiman bin Abdullah Al Jazuli Radiyan Allah. The Sahib Al Dalal Al Khairat Sharif. You heard of Dalal Al Khairat? Dalal Al Khairat is a treasure chest of the root. It is a Rohani treasure chest of the root that the Mashaykh have been reading in every zamana from the time of Sayyidina Imam Al Jazuli Radiyan Allah. Beautiful roots inside. Allah Akbar. I say, I say, the root here. Salam upon the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam More than the amount of raindrops that have fallen onto the earth From the time of the creation of the earth until the day of Qiyamah Allah Allah Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Mawlana Muhammadin Kullama thakirahu thakirun Oh Allah, salams and blessings upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Equivalent to all those people Who sent durood upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Mawlana Muhammadin Kullama ghafal an dhikrihi al-ghafil and oh Allah send durood equivalent even to those people that are ghafil from the zikr of Rasulullah Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so when you send equivalent to the amount of people that make durood and those who don't make durood so you have made durood according to everybody that has ever come and will ever come unto the dunya I say said such durood he has written Allahumma salli ala ruhi sayyidina Muhammad Muhammadin fil arwah wa la jasadihi fil adsad wa la qabrihi fil qubur wa la alihi wa sahabihi wa barik sallim daiman abada اللهم صل على سيدنا مولانا محمد صلاة دائمة مقبولة تعدي بها أنها كورازيم. This particular درود has great secrets in it. So let's go into his دربار. حضرة سيدنا إمام الجزولي رضي الله عنه is a time of صلاة. Talking about تاكت and comparing. ورفعنا لك ذكرك and we have exalted for you your remembrance. Allah says about the Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم. Allah is saying we have exalted for you your remembrance. ورفعنا لك ذكرك. When Allah has exalted his remembrance, who can go beyond that? Every moment of Rasulullah Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that comes is greater than the moment that has passed. Every moment that comes. That Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ghulam, 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 Ghulam. Hadrat Sayyidina Imam al-Jazuli radiallahu alayhi wa sallam, and this I'm not talking from my pocket. Hadrat Sayyidina Imam Mahdi Al-Fasi radiallahu anh explains it in Matali al-Masarrat Sharh Dalai al-Khairat Sharif That is the time of Salah Hadrat Sayyidina Imam Jazuli radiallahu anh 
needs to perform salah, he goes out. Goes to the well to make wudu. But when he reaches the well, he finds that there's a problem, there's no bucket, there's no rope. There's no bucket and there is no rope. Time of salah is going. Time of salah is going. Aaj hal ye hai. Time bahut hai. Salah yaad nahi karte. What is the hal of many people today? Time is lot. Don't think about salah. Don't care about it. Admi bimar hai. Alaj baat hai. Find a way. Do whatever and manage. But normal every time. Daily. Namaz is happening. Today every... Yeah, now you got even... I told you about this before. Now you got different kind of babas also. Namaz time come, Baba say you don't have to read direct for all of you. You don't have to read direct for your other year bath hoti to huzur would have read for all of us. Hey, don't read Baba read for all of us. We don't have to read namaz. Na'udhu billahi mudalik. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Salah is the mi'raj of the believer. You can, people come to you today and they tell you why I'm on the discussion. Malana, you know that I'm reading that wazifa for last two weeks, things not happening. Today you want everything must happen. Everything must happen. Without making mehnat. Say, Malana, two weeks I'm reading that wazifa. I said, in two weeks every day you woke up for Fajr Salah. Hey Malana, there's one thing I'm just not managing. Then I can take the whole majmu amal raza and put it in your neck. Koi fark nahi hoga. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Koi fark nahi hoga. What is the meaning of Taweez? The protector. You want protection? Stand in Allah's ibadat. Subhanallah. Stand on the musalla. But you must remember that namaz will not be namaz. That namaz will not be fulfilled. Until you do not say, Assalamu alaikum ayyuhan nabi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nahi hoga. Samaj rahe baat? So Salah, Hadrat Imam Juzuli radiallahu anhu was worried about his Salah. Went to the well. No bucket, no rope. Parishan, what must I do? Pacing. How am I going to get water to make wudu? Still in this kashmakash. From one very high, some narration say building, some say from the heights of the hills. A little girl. Don't to compare. Don't talk about taqat. A little girl. A little girl comes down and she looks at Imam al Jazuli radiallahu anhu. I'm being brief because of time. She says, Why are you so parishan? He says, I have to read salah. Can't get the water. No bucket, no rope. The bucket has fallen in. I need to make wudu. The girl says, then what? She says, are you the one that everybody talks about being such a great imam and pious personality? Subhanallah. Little girl. She says, are you the one that everybody talks about? That you are such a great imam. I mean, indeed he was. Eh? You are such a great imam. Such a great pious personality. He put his head down. She goes and stands in front of the well or took lady. Took lady. She spits into the well. What she does? She just spits once into the well. She spits one inch once into the well. Don't talk about my Nabi's Lua Bedan. You're talking about comparison. Don't talk about the holy and the Mubarak saliva from the most beautiful Zuban and the most beautiful mouth. Don't talk about that yet. Let's talk about generations down the little girl. She spits into the well. Imam al Jazuni radiallahu anh, says the water starts to boil up. The water starts to boil up. To the extent that it flows out of the well and all over the zameen. Starts flowing all over. He says, I make wudu and I read salah. He said, afterwards, I asked her, How did you do this? How did you do this? He said, Duru, she said, I recite Duru Sharif abundantly upon Rasulullah Pak Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wali Pachi. A child who read Duru sincerely. Through one time spitting on the well, the water is following my hukum. The one who reads Duru spits in the well, the water is following the hukum. 
and the one on whom she reads the root? The one on whom she reads the root? Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Allahu Akbar. This is that same Imam al Jazuli. Why I'm telling you about him more? Because the 16th of Rabiul Awwal Sharif was his Urs. A few days back. He is that Imam because when he saw this, what this girl, little girl did, he took a qasam that no matter what, I will now write a book of only the roots. And that is through the barakat of that little girl's action that he compiled the world renowned Dalai Khairat Sharif. And after he passed away, after he passed away, and he was laid to rest. At that time there was the war of the Babars and the others. I'm being brief. In the Maghrib. And after 77 years, the leader of that zamana realized that this place had come out of our control. The Muslims were not going to get any power here. So everybody wanted to move. So he decided to dig the cover of Hadrat Imam al Jazuli. Like that you don't dig anybody's cover without reason. But he decided that if we go, then we have to go with our Buddha. So after 77 years, when they dug the cover of Imam Jazuli radiallahu his Jismay Mubarak came out like it was 77 years before. Taro Taza. Fresh. Hadrat Sayyidina Imam Sahli radiallahu anhu, his student says that on the day that he made Wisal, he knitted his Dari Mubarak and his hair. He said when he was removed, the signs of that were present after 77 years. You want to compare? You can't compare to the Ambiya. That is the Nabi, we are the Ummah. By Habib Sharif Patan, famous Habib Sharif and Dusay Patan, Aksar Patan, who are very strong people. Bahadur, they are not afraid of God, they are not afraid of God. So they say, I am not saying others or not, I am just giving example because he is sitting in the front. Now, Habib Sharif, if someone kills a hand, a nice tight solid one, if he gives, Sunni ko inshallah nahi maare Bila zurubat But he gives some nice tight one Another person, insan That fellow will fall down, kuch na kuch hoga But I want to ask Habib Sharif Bhot brave, you gave that fellow a tight one Ask somebody else, you gave somebody, say Malana, I smack that fellow Another fellow says, I flattened him Apna zuban you flattened everybody else. When Malakul Moth comes, you can do anything. Simple question. I'm ending my discussion just now in two minutes. Of when Malakul Moth comes, no matter how strong you are, you know, all the pumping iron in the gym, all the weights that you pick, kya fayda hai? Today, the youngsters want to show how much muscles they got. When last you came and picked up the broom and swept the masjid? With that strength that Allah gave you. When last you touched your mother's feet? When last you went to the Qabristan and cleaned the cover of your mother and father? So, what use of the strength? What use of all this energy? At the end of the day, it will become the food of the worms and the maggots in the grave. Understand? Yeah, if you did all this here for the sake of deen, for the sake of standing in Allah's ibadat, Instead of reading two rakats and running away, stand in the night and make Allah's ibadat with this taqat, tawbat alag hai. Understand? But not the case. So I'm asking that no matter how strong you are and how bahadur, maut ka farishta hai, not even leave alone maut ka farishta coming or don't come, but talk about him halat khara. Reality? Aray, coronavirus ne kya kya hum logos ke? What has the coronavirus did to all of us? Dashat paida karni Created so much of fear inside us Dar ke maare Log namaz nahi parte Kuch bhi nahi karte Out of fear Baaki Allah malik But look at what he's done Why? Why are you so scared of coronavirus? You're not scared of the virus We're not scared of the virus You and I We're scared of death It's not about virus It's about malakal mouth coming Samajh rahe So no matter how brave you are no matter how powerful you are, when the angel of death comes, where your taqat is? Nowhere. But when the angel of death came to Musa alayhi salam, when the angel of death came to Musa alayhi salam, what happened? He struck the angel of death. 
and his eye came out. Oh. You want to talk about you and the Nabis? You can't stand for one second in front of the mouth of Farishta. And Nabi wo hai ke haath maare to Farishta ki aankh nikal jaye. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Beshak. You know, talking about these things? Wake up. We have to wake up and understand reality and realize that they are exalted from the court of Allah. They are the beloveds of Allah. If you want to be successful, then you must go and humble yourself before them. Humble yourself in their court and especially in the court of Imam Al-Anbiya. Hadrat Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Why? Because Dhan mein zubah tumhare liye Badan mein hijan tumhare liye Hum aaye yaha tumhare liye Uthe bhi maha tumhare liye We came here because of him. We came here because of him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That is why Huzur Sayyidi wa Murshidi Taj Shriya says Aap ke khatir banaye do jaha Aap ke khatir banaye do jaha aur apne khatir jo banaya aap hai and we came here for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and we were wake there what Hafiz Sharif said in the end what did he say sabah wo chale ke baag bhale may that beautiful breeze blow that our gardens may bloom sabah wo chale ke baag bhale wo phool khile such beautiful flowers should blossom ke din ho bhale that those wonderful days we may see Liva ke thale Under the flag of praise Liva ke thale Sana me khule In your praise Ya Rasulullah Me open what? Raza ke zubang The mouth of Raza Tumhari liye In other words There we must praise you So why? Uthe bhi vaha Tumhari liye Understand this Kamyab here Kamyab there If you not made Milad Sharif in your house Till now In Rabi Lawal month I hope everybody made Milad and I say everybody made milad, I didn't mean you need to cook biryani. I didn't mean you need to cook, call 250 people which is allowed nowadays in program. Hai na hai. Ho na ho. Whether you got or you don't have. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi is not looking at what you made. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi is looking at your heart. Allah is Rasul, look at your heart. All you have to do is pick up your hand and direct your heart to the court of Rasul Ipaq Sallallahu Alaihi but if you haven't made Maulud in your house till now, make Maulud. Because this is the dawa, this is the demand of the, the, the demand of the claim of love. It is the demand of the claim of love. When you claim, you must, every claim has a demand. And the demand of the claim of love is that you remember him who you should be remembering. So if you've not made Maulud in your house, sit with your family and make Maulud. And do you know why? If you make Maulud till next year, Allah will protect you from all calamities. Shaykh Mahakik, Shaykh Abdul Rahman, this Delvi, Adilan, whose course is on the 21st of this month. He said that if you make Mawlud in the month of Ramadan, in this special month especially, till next year that day, Allah will protect you from all calamities and Allah will give you barakat in your risk. Allah will give you barakat in your life. Now I can say what I want. People don't listen. The moment I talk about money, risk, everybody will understand. So if for nothing for that, so that you get risk halal also. And for the blessing and the mercy of Rasulullah more than everything else. So don't forget, make Maulu Sharif at home. And don't listen to those who, don't say, who say don't make Maulu. I finished telling you enough about it. Allah keep us with Iman. Let us live this world with Iman. Those who are ill. Allah keep them shifai calm and say uh, Especially Hafiz Nazir's mother who is undergoing an operation this evening. Let's all make dua. Allah gives her kamyabi and may the operation be successful. And may she recover very well. And uh, dua for all those who are ill that are in, in our community. Uh, and dua for all those that have passed away in Ahlul Sunnah. Allah exalt them in Jannah of Naim. Allah keep us with Iman. Let us leave this world with Iman. Wa ma'alim bilaq. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.